Good morning, my name is Amanda Smith and this is my tribute to TG General. Um, when I was typing up something this morning, a tribute this morning, um, so where are we? IG, Instagram kind of was like stopping far away and I thought there is no way I am um, going to allow IG not to allow me to do what I class as a suitable tribute to um, my good friend, possibly your good friend, um, TG General. Right, so I've known TG General since 2004, would you believe it? Um, Hurricane Ivan um, hit Grenada, and my godfather, um, His Excellency the Honourable Justin R. Whiteman, was the High Commissioner for um, Grenada here in, the, in London, UK. And um, he has arranged several meetings for persons that um, could assist with um, fundraising, etc., etc., um, to help out with Grenada, to send aid back to Grenada, etc. That's where I first met QT General. He was um, sitting on the left hand side, I believe, of the table. Opposite him was his brother. Um, just remember his eyes um, <laughs> and his smile and um, his laugh. So funny guy. Um, and from then we became instant friends. Um, goodness. I'm trying to share some memories. I'm trying to make this quicker than the last one I did with like 20 minutes. Um, so, TT General, as you know, was a uh, master of ceremonies. Um, when you went to an event he was at, there would be, when he was on the stage, he was very charismatic, he had really good energy, and um, He had a stage presence. If you were sitting down and um, you weren't feeling the vibe, TT General would be there and his voice on the mic alone would just stand up because you know, you know he's going to get you up and dancing. Do you understand? His voice, and again, as I do this, there is a red robin sitting on my fence, which is insane. Um, wow. Well, so. Um, oh, right, so he was an amazing person. So I remember there was a Dreams Jam that I went to, it was an army set. Sokoholic will remember there was um, ash, volcanic ash coming from was it Iceland or some country. And just the vibes in that party, just any party went to with him, vibes, 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 mass, just, you know, no boring show. It was amazing. Um, but I um, was on community radio as a hobby. Um, I was working as a merchandiser at the time. I had no time to be no radio DJ. <laughs> So the first person I called up was TT General and um, he gave me great advice, um, you know, he would tune in and, uh, you know, to have his support was amazing. Um, when, um, share another memory, 2007 I believe it was. Um, my first year at that time managing um, soccer artists and he was in Grenada that year. <laughs> he went early um, then Grenada Carnival so I think it might have been Fisherman's birthday, I'm not too sure when and um, but it was a few months before Grenada Carnival and he called me and was like C because he used to call me C or Cheryl. Um, my DJ name at the time was Cherokee so he was saying your boy, your boy that you have day. Talk about the artist I was working with. That song he has, he's got his song called Lil Wine. <laughs> it's not in this voice, obviously. It's like, you see that? See. 
that boy's gone clear. See that song? I'm mashing up everywhere. That song. Jealousy. He could sing. Talent, obviously. He's a singer himself. Um, I'll call him world artist on reggae, soca. I mean, seriously, if you gave him Afro beats, he would ride that rhythm. You know? Um, trying to hide my layers here. Um, goodness. There is so much. So he was very supportive of everything. I was going through some emails. Um, yeah, some emails. Um, and um, like say, he was sending music. And you could kind of like hear his laughter. As we used to old talk and um you know send me his music and so and so forth i would send this across to various djs in the uk and overseas but you know when you read these emails going back decades you could hear his voice you know and um laughter and yeah um Um, insane. This Red Robin has, since I've sat here, so I'm having work done in this room, so if it sounds a bit echoey, um, there's normally blue ticks in a bush here, right? But today, a Red Robin. <laughs> and just staring right at me. Um, anyway, I haven't seen a Red Robin in years. So, now, let me try and think of another memory. Um, goodness. Right. Um, as a protector, he was amazing. I had an unfortunate um, incident where there was persons that me and him knew that had threatened, put a death threat on my Facebook page. And um, I contacted the police. And as there was, it was a group of people, it's known as joint enterprise, that shared information, whatever, whatever. And if, I was targeted um, when my lawyer had told me about, you know, these people, what would happen, and, you know, if they've got kids, etc., etc., what would happen, I then thought, no, okay, so we'll just call the police off. I sent an email to the main person that had sent me, had sent the person to send me a threat. I copied TC General into that email, so I've never told anyone this before. So when people say he was the protector, I knew that by copying him into that email, that it will kind of squash everything. Um, when I say squash everything, like, I just knew I'd be safe, you know? I made the decision at that stage not to continue being the UK soccer team at that stage. Um, and he was very supportive. He kind of knew my trajectory you know that i was gonna he kind of knew that i was gonna take a different path and he used to go on about the stars like reach for the stars and when we um the artist i was working for um at the time we um yeah reached to hollywood and was um, you know naacp image awards first ever for soca and you know this huge amazing um accolade you know from hollywood and he was one of the first um to congratulate me and how proud he was of me and he was so supportive he always knew that i was going to take a different route you know he just knew he just knew <laughs> you know i wasn't gonna be you know, he just knew, put this way. Don't want to say anything to my guy. He just knew that I was going to, when I said I'm going to exit, he just knew I was going to take a different route. And he was really supportive. Um, God. This is kind of real, isn't it? Um, What else can I tell you? There's so much memories, so many events. 
um, but as I want to try and keep this short, um, the last time I saw him, like physically saw him, because I don't go to soca events here in the UK, um, so the last time I saw him was Tuesday morning, Nine Hill Carnival 2019, I mean as I see him I always run, <laughs> run to him, you know, huge hug, lift me in the air, <laughs> guys, we're just so happy and excited to see each other, and we're just like catch up and, you know, and he'd always say how proud he is of me and the uh, same thing, and we always would communicate anyway, we wouldn't wait until we see each other, um, yeah, but it was amazing to see him, that was the last time I saw him, so obviously Corona hit. I would have normally seen him possibly Grenada Carnival or again not in Hill Carnival, but we would communicate with other than see each other in each set. Um, because obviously I don't go to sets here in the UK. Um goodness. I'm trying to think. We had one it wasn't a disagreement, <laughs> but we had one slight misunderstanding. It was with the word gold rush, so um Goodness, maybe 2010, because I always had a dream of having a juve van, jab jab van in Grenada. So um, obviously I have now, but back then I think I called the section Gold Rush, and he said to me, Gold Rush. He's that's his name. He's used that before and so on and so forth. I thought, oh, I didn't know. He said, yeah, up in um, you know, he's used it in the UK before. So I've pulled it down and and so and so forth. He was like, yeah, like, he thought I knew. I was like, no, because for me, I used to just be in the area I'm from. I never came into the Grenada scene till like my, like, 20s, you know, late 20s or whatever. I wasn't, you know, teens, I was never up those areas at all. My dad would not have it. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. He was a really amazing guy, as you could tell from everyone's tributes. Um, really amazing guy. Very fun, um, very loyal, very protective. He never was any, any dramas. Um, he always looked out for people. You felt safe around him. Um, yeah, he was a really, really good person, fun, um, he had a lot of math, a lot of great ideas, um, he's more educated than me, um, he's done a lot in the community, a lot around the world, a lot of people, he's helped a lot of artists with their careers, um, a lot of support his love for Grenada here the Caribbean period you know his love for carnival his love for just everything life in general was something that you would aspire to you know um, one of my cousins that knew him way before me so it's my mother's cousin he said to me losing QC general feels the same as or even more as when Princess Diana died. And I said to her, to me, it's like Princess Diana and Michael Jackson at the same time. He was, um, he was one of a kind, one of a million or a billion. Um, there'll never be another person like that. Someone that has for decades supported people. I mean, I'm 43. He supported people older, younger, no matter, you know, what it's about. He's given that great support, always that reassurance, you know. Um, funny, old talk for days. <laughs> um, the last time I spoke to him was on his birthday. I sang to him, sent voice notes. <laughs> singing <laughs> I can't sing <laughs> and um, yeah he loved it and um, you know thanked me and and stuff and 
you know, I'm thinking of um, the next month is another wig keep concert and the last one I was at, I wore this wig and I post a picture on, I think red or pinkish wig, post a picture on IG and he was like, how do you look so young? <laughs> Seriously, the, he's so funny, like just so naturally funny. Um, but really, really amazing person. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's the, the tribute for him. Um, he's an amazing person, I'll keep saying that. Very loyal. My condolences to his family, his friends, fans, supporters, everyone, local um, and around the world. Everyone that knew him or first time they heard of him. So, someone's at my door. My condolences, rest in peace. Lots of love. We'll miss you. Thank you, Gigi.